Navigating through Avantax eForms and using it to complete and print your returns is easy and intuitive. The eForms Start page gives you quick access to many of the most important eForms features. From here you can create new or open recent databases, add new companies to a database, and import data from three types of files. Here you can also check for eForms updates, look up your authorization code, and click on handy links to our user guide and technical support page. All these features and more can also be accessed through the main menu at the top of the screen. An eForms database can contain a single company or many companies. Managing these companies is made easy using the frequently used functions on the eForms toolbar directly below the main menu. When a database is opened, the left side of the toolbar will activate, giving you access to all the main company functions. The company currently in use is displayed in the current company box, and you can select a different company to work with simply by using the drop-down menu or the select company icon here. Other icons let you create a new company and edit the current company's information. More information on creating and managing databases and companies is available in our other training videos. To open the slips for a company, click on the Forms menu and select which type of slip you want to work on. Note that the slips icons on the right side of the toolbar will activate as soon as a slip is opened. The icons on this toolbar allow you to add new slips, delete the current slip, page through all the slips for this company, search for a specific slip, and sort the slips in a number of different ways. The print icon jumps to the slip printing window, while the revert icon will reverse any changes you have made to a slip during an editing session. You can open as many forms as you wish at any time. Quickly move between them using the tabs at the top of the screens. You can also view multiple forms side by side using our split screen feature. Just click and drag the form tab towards the center of the eForms window and drop the tab on the direction arrow where you want to display the form. As you enter data into the data entry fields, it is saved as soon as you tab or click into the next field. There are also a number of handy icons which you can click on to find further information on fields, jump to related fields on other screens, display complete lists of valid entries for that field, and to override calculated fields. Convenient buttons on each slip screen take you directly to summaries and related forms. Summaries are automatically calculated from the slip data you have entered. Automatically calculated fields are locked. If necessary, you can override these by double-clicking on the icon beside the field. White fields indicate that data here must be manually entered directly on the summary. The contact information at the bottom of the summary is automatically retrieved from the defaults in your user settings. If these fields are blank, you must enter your contact information here to produce a valid return. You can also record the status of your return at every step by clicking the Filing Status button at the top of the summary. All returns are flagged as not required by default. You can track the status and progress of your work by setting the status here to Needs Return, Entered, Checked, or Filed as is appropriate. The status can also be set to Filed when you print your slips and summaries or create an electronic submission file. You can now review the filing status of your returns at any time by opening the Company Summary Report and selecting the Filing Status fields to view. Enhanced filing status features are available to eForms Plus and Enterprise users. For more information on these, see our Advanced Features tutorial. Once you've finished entering your slip information, you can review it using the Edit List feature. Click on Reports, Form Type, and Edit List. Select the companies you wish to review using the company selection list, or use the various selection filters which you can access by clicking More. The Edit List allows you to review the details of all the slips and check the totals of all amount fields against your source documents. We recommend narrowing your Edit List to only the relevant data you wish to review. Select specific fields individually, 
or use the Select Used Fields button to conveniently select only the fields in which you have entered data. Under Options, there are a number of ways for you to reformat your edit list for optimal display. Landscape orientation can be an effective way of displaying edit lists with many selected fields, and you may wish to select legal paper or reduce the margins to fit your selected information. Now that you've entered and reviewed your slips and summaries, you're ready to print. Click on the Reports menu and select the type of form you wish to print. Note that some slips can be printed in more than one format, so be sure to select the one you need. The first step on the print screen is to select which company slips you wish to print. Selected companies will appear on the list on the right. Clicking More will open Advanced Selection Tools, which allow you to filter and select which companies you wish to print based on a number of different filtering options. For more details on these options, see our Advanced Features instructional video. Now select which slips you wish to print. If you have selected only one company, you can select slips individually. If you have selected multiple companies, you can choose to print all slips or to print slips of one status, original, amended, or cancelled. You can also choose to sort and print your slips by one of a number of different sorting fields. Now select the copies you wish to print and the printer and tray you are using. You must also select whether you are printing e-forms generated facsimiles on plain paper or printing on pre-printed government issued forms. Your print jobs will be grouped either by company or by copy number, whichever you prefer. Now that you've completed your selections, you're ready to print your slips. You can click Refresh Data to ensure that all data is current, and you can click Adjust Margins to customize your print job for your printer. When you're ready, send your forms directly from eForms to your printer using Quick Print, or click on Preview Print to view them in PDF format and then send the PDF to the printer. The next chapter of this video will show you how to save these PDF documents directly to the folders of your choice when printing. When printing is complete, eForms will ask you if you wish to mark this return as filed. Mark it as filed if you want eForms to track the progress of your returns. Again, you can review the filing status of your returns at any time using the company summary report. eForms allows you to save your completed returns in PDF format after printing. Under PDF Options, click Save PDF Files. Choosing just this option will save your return in its entirety to the eForms PDF Output folder. If you are grouping your returns by copy number, you can also choose to save each copy on its own PDF file in the default output folder or you can select Prompt for Output Folder to select a different location of your choice. If you are grouping your returns by company, you can also choose to save each company as a separate PDF file. Furthermore, you can save these individual PDFs in the client or company folder you have specified on the company information page. If you haven't yet specified a location, you can select Prompt for Output Folder to choose that location now. eForms Enterprise provides the additional option of saving each recipient's slip copy separately, which then allows you to conveniently make these copies available to each recipient electronically. For more information on this Enterprise feature, please see our Advanced Features tutorial. Additional training videos and our user guide are available through eForms and on the eforms slash eForms website. For further questions, email support at avantax.ca or phone to speak directly with our expert support staff.